Hi everyone, this is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Saturday Morning Makes with Jill Norwood. Um, before I get started, I just want to say that um, thank you to everyone who bought these stashes from me in the last uh, two weeks. I really, really appreciate it. Um, there were a couple of you that wanted um, some of the these stashes, but they were already sold, and I'm really sorry for that. But keep watching because um, I am going back to the guy who I went to the first time um, and finished getting the rest of the stuff. Um, I'm going to do that the first week of August. So I'm guessing around the end of the first week or the second week of August, I'll be starting up these stashes again, okay? Um, once I get all the rest of the stuff. There is one box left. It is um, a toolbox. It has lots of crafting tools in it, a punch board and a fuse tool. It's brand new um, and a couple other things. Um, if you're interested, let me know, okay? All right, so this is uh, Saturday Morning Makes with Jill Norwood. Hi, Jill. <laughs> Um, I know I'm a little late, but I had to go out and mow the lawn. All right. So let me show you what I used and then I'll share my projects. Okay. So I use this penny black stamp. It's so super cute. It's called a Christmas to remember. And, um, it was $19.99 and this was actually a gift from Gigi. Gigi sent me that in a happy mail. So thank you, Gigi, if you're watching. So I decided to pull it out. I'm trying to pull out my wood stamps and, and use them and make some um, projects with them. So I use that. Um, this one is another penny black. I have not used it yet. I pulled it out with intentions and I never got to it. I'm going to make tags with this one. But this one's really cute. It's, it's Snow Gifts is what it's called. And uh, this was a 1998 penny black. Um, and I don't, it's brand new. I haven't even used it yet, but I'm going to make some tags with this. I thought this was really cute, but just didn't get to it, um, this week. This is a piece of, uh, paper that I had in my stash and I used this on the Penny Black stamp, uh, project. I used, um, this wavy rectangles by Penny Black. Okay. Um... Did I use this? I didn't use this yet. I'm going to use this. I think it'll be really cute. Make a card like that with that in the middle. And I have it pulled out. It's in my my little group of stuff here. But I had, like I said, I haven't gotten time to do it. I used the Hello um, die from MFT. There's actually the MFT Hello in there. And then there's another Hello. I don't know what company that is. I, I kind of just grouped it in there together. I believe this, this one is... Or this, this one is the MFT, I think. And then, I don't know. But I use the one that has the backing on it. Okay. Um, I used... Did I use this? I can't remember. Yes. I used this Tonic Studio um, nesting set stitch dies. I used uh, the alphabets that... I don't remember where I got them. They're uh, dotted alphabets is all it says. And I use those. Um, I use this. I got this from AliExpress. And it's a bumblebee hive. And uh, it's supposed to make a book. I did not make a book. I made two cards with it. It has all these little... Um, oh, I didn't put that back. Uh, it has all these little um, bugs. That, I mean, bees that you can uh, make and put them on your projects. And I did do that. I was looking for a bee die in my stash. So I could use a peachy keen face and I did not have a bee dye. I, I thought I did and I didn't. So I went to Timu and I ordered one, um, one or two I ordered uh, from them. So once that comes in, I may do another project with this and use the, um, the peachy keen face. But I did use this bee. Um, it's a beehive mini album. It, that's how you look it up on um, AliExpress if you're looking for it. Okay, there's some extra bees I did. I didn't use them, so I put them back in there. I use them another time. And then, of course, I used my uh, paper from, uh, I think this is Photoplay. Yeah, Photoplay. It's called Sweet as Honey. And I used a lot of it, so um, I actually ordered another one of these and a couple extra pieces of the paper. My, one, some of my favorite papers um, in this coming from scrapbook.com, so I don't run out. But, um, yeah, I used a lot of this already. Um, okay, so 
for the B projects. This was the first one. And I actually made a card. I, I um, cut it twice and then I did the whole, um, you bend the top of this one and stick it on there and it came out pretty good. The inside, I distressed it with mustard seed and then I sprinkled some water on it. So that's how you get those little effects. I put a couple of the stickers from that collection in there. And then what I did with the layering is I put the, the card bases, the yellow, and then I used the black polka dot um, underneath and then the stitched um, beehive on the top. And there's that black polka dot paper on the front. There's the hello. I did put stickles on the hello. These are my bees and I glued down just the first set of wings so you can pop these up a little bit and then they can be dimensional but they will also lay flat to put on your card. I mean, to put in your envelope to mail it. I used some uh, little gems that I had, and then I also used the yellow, um, what are those things called, the drops, Nouveau. And it's really funny because when I put it on, it's yellow, but it turned green because it's on the black paper. So then I, all, I had to use those, um, those gems and then here's the little uh, bow I put at the top so that's that one then I made this and this is the card and I'll tell you why I made the card um I did do the this I try to do this the first time and it didn't work for me so instead of wasting it I cut it out cut the part off that didn't work and then I used it to make a card. And because of its size, I had to do an A7 card. I usually make my A2 size cards, but this one had to be an A7 because of um, the size. And I used some more of that paper. There's where I used the polka dotted um, alphabets. Buzz, it just says buzz. I put a couple stickers on there, used the gems again. And on this one, I put a little black bee in the middle. So that could be like, these could be honeybees and this could be like a hornet. <laughs> And then there's the inside. And I used the stitch rectangles in on this here. So that's that card. Uh, let me put this over here so you can see it. Um, and then this is the penny black card that I did. I think it came out super cute. Oh my gosh, I colored it with Copics and then I put stickles on the um, bobbles. But that little mouse is so adorable looking up here at the cat. Now, remember, the cat's supposed to chase the mouse. The cat is up here scared for his life and the little mouse is down below. I just think that's so funny. This is where I use the penny black um, mat, the little stitching. You can see that on that one. That's really cute. I did the bottom of there by myself. I just kind of like threw some green and brown in there. The, the star is yellow and it has stickles on it as well. And that's where I used that green Christmas paper on there, on the background. And then, so this is the inside. And those are my cards this week for Saturday Morning Makes. I hope you like them and I hope you enjoyed my video. Thumbs up are always appreciated. And welcome to any new subscriber that I have. I hope you stick around and get some kind of inspiration from me. And I want to wish you guys a very nice, um, happy weekend. Enjoy it. And we will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.